Hey, what's up, Juggernaut people? William Charles Hill, Juggernaut Off-Road. I uh, wanted to put out a short video on uh, something we got planned coming up. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway, at, like everybody does, at 1,000 subscribers. And we've got, um, we've decided to give away a, a toolkit with the basic necessities that we feel you'll need when out on the trail. Um, I'll get into all the things that may be in the kit that we're gonna to try to put in it for you and show you some of the things that I carry in my machine uh, so that we can kind of, you know, address any problem we may have on the trail, including breakdowns, things like that, and which we have, especially if you ride. I'm not gonna say we ride as rough as some people, but we, you know, we beat on them like the hell with money. So um, first thing will be, um, I wanted to say was thanks to everybody that has made Juggernaut Facebook what it is. We've got almost 1,800 members on there, and that's kind of a way to get people, you know, involved and uh, posting their own videos. Keep in mind that that page is not for advertisements or pictures. It's zero. It's 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 for up to three minute videos of either somebody making a good run on a hill climb or whatever or somebody not making a, a good run on the hill climb. And as you know, everybody loves those kind of things. So um, thanks to everybody for joining that. And now that we've started the Juggernaut YouTube, where we're bringing out Juggernaut Off-Road YouTube, where we're bringing out videos of our rides. We do one a month, sometimes two. Uh, we try to get four to five, you know, 20 to 40 minute videos that we can put out. And I tell you, it's, uh, it's a little, uh, overwhelming sometimes because we used to just not care and we go out and ride and not mind our language and do whatever we wanted to do but now it's kind of a little bit different you know and hats off to people like blown budget and uh can-am crew for those guys making videos out there it's uh it, it takes a lot to get it done and when you realize that 60 to 80 percent of the people that watch the videos just do so by clicking on a link they don't subscribe or they don't like or they don't share and that kind of, you know, I, I kind of look at subscribing to somebody's channel that's monetized as to uh, giving to a GoFundMe page. You know, you can go fund them by subscribing, liking, and sharing, but it don't cost you anything. So if, you know, if you're watching somebody's videos and you've got a Google account, you're on YouTube, you got a YouTube account, whatever, just subscribe, like, share. Um, hit that bell so when they put out a video you know it and do the same for ours you know we're trying to get to a thousand I think we're right at 700 and we're gonna give away a tool bag so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera around and kind of show you what we got what we're gonna put in it it may not be completely full now but you know everybody's uh, riding styles are different and things you may need I might not things I might need you may not so what we want to do is kind of give you an overrun of everything here and um and see if i'd help you out and like i say once we hit a thousand we'll uh we'll randomly pick someone to uh, get this tool bag to and uh, it's not machine specific so it's gonna be metric and you know things like that so uh it, and I, I feel like things that you're gonna need if you get out there on the trail and you break or you know happen to need uh tools or accessories things just for for little things like you know, putting your mud flap back on. I can't tell you the times I ripped mine off and I carry a box of push pins and I'll use, you know, 10 a day cause I'll rip them off, especially on the rocks and tight trees, stuff like that. So uh, let me get uh, get this thing turned around and we'll get started on it. Thanks. All right, guys, basically what I have is a rugged tool bag. Um, there's the one we're gonna give away no, it's not going to uh, include that Dewalt right there. I know you're thinking that, but no. Uh, so basically, uh, it's adjustable to according to how many tools you got in it. Uh, has one, two, three, four, five, six pouches. Uh, I kind of wrote stuff on mine where I kept everything, but yeah, after you do one repair on the trail, you realize you put stuff back in the wrong bag, but it don't matter. Um, so. You know, we, we're gonna, we're gonna put some tools in here, kind of like wrenches, uh, torx bits, which I use a lot of, even though they're, you know, I, I think they fit Allen heads a lot better than some Allen wrenches do. Uh, sockets, 
um, sidewall repair kit. We use glue tread. We also have plugs, carry a good knife with us. Uh, you always want to carry some zip ties and uh, everybody needs to carry push pins. I buy them about a hundred because I use so many of them. Uh, we're also going to try to put vice grips. Uh, you definitely need these kind of tools here. Uh, needle nose, need some cutters and some uh, uh, good pliers in your toolbox. Uh, I like to carry a little pry, something, you know, in case we need to bear down on something to get it out. Also a pin puller, uh, just several different things that I put in. And all this goes in my bag. So, um, but I also carry like another little bag that I put stuff in, just miscellaneous stuff. I got a snatch block, uh, just a strap, uh, and then a toe strap, and the other sidewall repairs, stuff like that. I carry a fire starter. You wouldn't want to get out there at night and get cold. A uh, small little uh, air pump. But the thing about riding with other people is you can kind of make sure everybody's got what you don't. Like Aaron and Mitchell have stuff that I don't have that I may need. I just ain't got the room to carry it all. Um, another thing is, if you guys are out there busting on these rocks, throw a ball joint or two in your machine. It's 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 gonna, I mean, if you get out there and break a ball joint, then you gotta kind of rig it up with wrenches and zip ties or whatever, throw a ball joint in there, carry a, a, a ring remover there for your tension ring. Uh, we always carry a charged Dewalt. Usually some of us has got, uh, I got one, maybe David will have one. And this little thing here from Harbor Freight will pop a ball joint off in like no time. And we all have those because they're good to have. Um, but anyway, we're gonna fill your little bag with uh, stuff. Um, you know, I carry just a uh, shock uh, wrench to lower the shocks or whatever. I carry, you know, a little selection of of uh, just all kind of stuff, screwdrivers. You definitely wanna have several different kind of screwdrivers. Uh, got some uh, channel locks, you know, in this bag, a big old set. You can get them at Cobalt, whatever, at, at Lowe's, they're kind of cheap. You don't have to have high dollar uh, tools in these bags. A little bag of screwdrivers there, all different kinds, all different numbers. Um, and then now we're gonna we're gonna send you some sockets, but you may want to include just some you got laying around that may be like this is our this is a rear axle uh, um, socket for the KRX. So you know that ain't gonna come in a toolkit. That's yet to buy that by itself. Uh, I would suggest that if you do use a 3 8 drive ratchet to uh, go to Harbor Freight and buy you, let's see if I can find them in here. I know I stuck them in here because I keep them in here all the time. Buy you some, let's see, well, I say I do. Maybe I don't. I thought I had them in there. Oh, here they are. But you can get these in a set, and what they are is, they're a quarter to an eighth. I mean, a three eighths to a quarter, and then they're three eighths to a half. And that way, if you got a specialty tool that might not be the right drive, you got these things to use on the tools that you do have. And it'll cut down on carrying uh, various size ratchets, sockets, what have you. So they're good to have in your box. Um, and then I just put, I just put various wrenches, you know, 14, 15, 16, 9, 10, and stuff like that just throw them in there and then of course now i carry a couple bigger ones in mine because i found that the bag is big enough you know but if you don't if you got more stuff in there than you need um you know don't worry about that i would like to say something about the blue tread repair repair kit so i bought brand new zillas for my machine and we went up to uh i think we were at ivy branch which is actually, ironically, we'll be there here at our next ride. And um, brand new Zillas right off the trailer, got up into an area where somebody had cut down some trees, cut them low to the ground. I didn't really see the stumps. They were smaller trees. And lo and behold, blowed the sidewall out on a brand new set. Well, I took out my glue tread, followed the instructions. Um, this is the patch. 
that's been on there for we had another tire so we just put it on but i fixed this one with the glue tread it's been on there six months with 10 pounds of air in it and still holding good and uh i just carried it in the truck as a spare in case somebody needs one or i need one but uh really really a decent product i think if somebody wanted to try it now you can you know naturally we carry regular uh plugs and i think uh several other guys have got some of those sidewall plugs that you have to thread in with the cable and all that but but these things right here if you fix that right and go by the way the instructions tell you you can ride that and not have to worry about it so uh but anyway check us out youtube and uh you know hit that subscribe button you want a chance to win a nice tool bag got one right here rugged like i say it's gonna have a majority of the stuff here in it and ready to go and of course we'll get your name address and ship it to you if you're the winner and uh if you're not and you want to get you a tool bag that one's off amazon i think it's 40 bucks you know they got cheaper ones but i wanted a good bag that's you know good zippers on it you look at these zippers they're really good they're really heavy duty i ain't never had no problem with them locking up and you can pack this thing and roll it and when it's full of my tools it may be you know another four inches higher but the straps are totally adjustable pick it up tear it any way you want to drag it around it's got three straps on it you can just drag that thing around throw it out there on the dirt which you can see mine's dirty and uh so if you guys uh jump on juggernaut on youtube hit that subscribe button share it like it hit the bell um david's got another video out uh coming out tomorrow i think today's saturday and um i think today's the 11th he's got one coming out tomorrow and uh, uh we were at black mountain it's the second one second or third one from from black mountain and um it's gonna be uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a good video we did some bashing in that one so i've been an a arm i got me another one here i'm gonna install it probably uh next week before we head out so uh if you guys want to just check out everything and you know take a look at everything we got here and uh things you may need out on the trail do yourself a favor get you a good tool bag and uh don't forget to subscribe on juggernaut youtube juggernaut off-road on youtube for a chance to win this bag should be i don't know 300 dollars value something like that all right people appreciate it and uh we'll see you next time thanks guys